comparison. <laughs> Look at my hand. How big that is. <laughs> hmm. Look at that, my goodness. I cannot I cannot hold all the way. I got <laughs> two hands. Two okay, hands. this one. I got two already, so my third one. Just thinking it was fast. <laughs> oh yeah, that is blue kill. You go like that. Ten of this. Uh, keep ten this bluegill. Oh, oh dear, that's some huge one. Oh, I have to extend my hand. Pretty big. Measure. You can't hold it 
run away like that. Yeah.
I'm making a bluegill lab. In other words, I'm just mincing the malt very thin. And then put a lot of ingredients and herbs. And then some people, they like to eat it raw. To me, I'm going to have to cook it after I mix all the ingredients in here. So I try to cut it really thin right there. Okay folks, I'm going to use these ingredients to put on the fish lab. So I got a lot of peppers. These are the cilantro from my humble garden. garden. And then also this is the lemongrass also from my garden. And the garlic red garlics from my garden also. See? And um, the mint. Mint is also from my garden. Um, as you saw earlier, this is also from my garden. This is the kefir leaf. And this is supposed to be the uh, Vietnamese ch chalender, I think, colander. Vietnamese colander. But I bought it and then I left it out so it got dried up, but it's still good. Okay. So the uh, kefir leaf is cut, chopped into small pieces. And these are the mint. I like to just pour them off, like that to use. I don't want to use this, the, the end part, I just use the leaves only. But you know, if you like, you can chop it up too, depending how you guys want it. And some people use the mint, so I'm gonna put the mint in there. Okay. I hope, oops. Okay. So, the key for leaving. That's the lemongrass. Of course, the peppers. Okay, and this one is the, <laughs> I'm so sorry, but the, the uh, Vietnamese uh, coriander. I'm going to just chop it. I could just, if it's the, like, really fresh, I would just pull off the leaves and just use it. Just, just the way I do it on the mint. But since I left it out, I didn't put it in the refrigerator, it's kind of dried up. But it still tastes good. Okay, so all that in there, and here I have the, these are cilantro, but they just got a little bit older, they grew older, because we, most of Asians like to grow the cilantro a little bit older, and I just kind of pour it off, and when you see at the stores, the one they sell is mainly just the leaves, but this is one when you, let it grow older and then the, the, seed, the leaves kind of split open. It's not because they're different, different cilantro. It's just we let it grow older, that's all. And that's how you get seeds from it too. Mix up. And then there you go. And I'm going to put the garlics in here too. So all this is mixed. I'm going to put some salt. There's no measurement, so you're going to have to put, eyeball it. And then if you want it, always put a little bit less. If it's not enough, you can always add to it. All right, MSG. Okay. And then this one. Lap Nam Tok seasoning. You 
you could put about yeah uh, um, this is maybe a tablespoon remember it's all up to your uh, preference so that's all I'm putting on there okay, I'm gonna put a rice powder too so rice powder I bought it and I just transfer it into here make it easier to use it smells so good now I'm just going to mix it all up. Mmm, it smells so good already. Some people like to put lemon on it or lime. To me, the, the, um, the seasoning, the lap nam tok is already pretty sour to me already. Those of you who like to eat it raw, this would be just fine. You probably want to put um, some limes to kill any bacteria maybe. It might kill, it might not kill. That's only a, a theory. Some people think it might kill, but I doubt it. To me, I would just, ooh, look at that. To me, I always cook it. Mix it real well. Okay. Those of you who want to eat it raw, this will be awesome with the beer, any Corona, whatever you guys, alcohol, you want to sit and just eat with friends and chill. Okay. I'm going to transfer it into a pot. I'm going to cook it. So I don't need to put any oil or anything. Actually, I think I'm gonna put a little water, just slightly. Okay, just a little bit water. And then transfer this in here. It's because I don't eat anything raw, so I cook them. Mm. Okay, here we are. Looks like it's pretty well done. Looks like it's all cooked evenly. They're all white now. Nice and juicy. Well, let's do a little tasting. Mmm, pretty good. This will be perfect for how some of you want to, okay, let's turn it off. Be perfect for some of you that wants to do like, um, oh, this one has a little bit bone, but no worries, it comes right off. Mmm, yum. Oh, that's so good. You could do like, um, put on a salad, you could do salad wrap, you could do taco. Anything you want to do. It's limitless of how you want to prepare your food. For rice, with that, with a salad. Okay, let's try it, Attic. Yes, I will be for the you salad or lettuce wrapped uh -huh. my way. Mm. Um, I think those pepper might kill you. <laughs> eh, oh well, I'll take it this time. Yeah. There you go. Hmm? <laughs> wow, that is good. It's good? Really good. Mm. Let me see. Let's see. Good job. Oh, yeah. look at that. Mm. <laughs> I bet. Okay, right here. Right there. How about put a little bit of rice on it? There you go. 
I'm going to pay for this pepper tonight, but <laughs> man. Mm. I'll boil this myself. Yep, I'm going to pay for it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Perfect seasoning, huh? Really good. Yeah. Mm, thank you. All right, well, that's a crappie. No, sorry. That's a uh, red ear, blue ear, shell cracker, mm -hmm. lab. You can do it either that way, either with the rice and your salad wrap, however you want. I want to thank you, everyone, for watching this. Hope this will give you some ideas how to prepare your other food. <laughs>